they're still in the house, um, what's new? Oh, and I just, the further and further we get into this, like I just, I miss going on a night out. Normally in a week, I would say I would go out maybe, definitely once, maybe twice. Depends on like the week, you know, how much we've got done, how much we're feeling like. I know there's bigger fish to fry right now, there definitely is, like there's more important things going on and I know this is not really something that, I feel like it's quite a selfish thing to talk about but I just feel like, it's just kind of, oh I just, I, re I really want to go on a night out. The more this goes on, the more I just miss everything about it. Like I miss the overpriced drinks, either so watered down <laughs> or just so much ice. You would get your drink and you'd feel like you've just ordered ice with like... I miss queuing for it, not only if you're gonna get in, giving your ID to the bouncer, like... I miss chatting to random people in the toilet, act like your best friend that you're just never gonna see again. What? I don't even know what that's about to be honest, like I don't know if that's just a girl thing, but half the time I come back to people on Snapchat that I have no idea who they are, I don't know how I've spoken to them, I don't know how I've got their Snapchat, but it's just there. And then I have to view their stories for the next three years and I just still don't know who they are. Same tunes that are played over and over again, no matter what club you go into, you're always gonna get the same set of songs. I just love it, like I can't get enough and I just miss it. I really miss it. So I kind of had this thought that like, I don't need to put myself through this anymore because I can just go on a night out in my room. It's not just about the night out, it's about the experience, getting ready, the pre, food after, all the food. It just hits so different, it's so elite. It's just about the whole experience and I feel like I can kind of recreate that. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, it's five past three, which means we need to start getting ready. We really do have all day to spare here. I like to take my time. I'm not going to show what I'm doing because I'm not doing Charles. There's no point in doing that and nobody's going to follow this anyway, so. Can't relate. I've not faked hands in a while. Um, so how have we actually all been doing? That's really good to hear. You know, the more I think about it, the more I realise how weird a concept clubs are. Like, we all pile in in our masses and then just kind of dance about. But does anyone actually dance? Like, I know that used to be the same, like, oh, we're going to go to... To the dance thing. Was that the saying? We're gonna go to the dance thing. Like nobody goes out for their sole purpose to dance. Also, why are they a different colour? I just put a bunch of bronzer in there. My eyebrows are terrible, we know this. They're just naturally terrible. I've tried every shape, I've tried having them really thin, I've tried not looking them at all, and nothing works. This is kind of an in-between. This is what I'm going with. I feel like over the past few weeks everyone's been really nostalgic just kind of about what life used to be and we didn't realise how good we had it. I feel like that's an unfair argument to say though, like we didn't realise how good we had it when we could leave the house. But I have definitely been thinking about some of my favourite nights. I feel like people are going to laugh when I say this. I actually think Rave is one of my favourites on a Saturday. They have a kind of downstairs bit and I didn't know that they only opened it on a Saturday but they, all over Instagram you saw people posing in this bathtub. So every time I would go into Rave I'd say where's your bathtub? <laughs> Like I want a picture, like I want to be one of like the Insta girls. And they would all say, oh sorry, it's closed, it's only open on a Saturday. So once me and Becca decided like we're just going to go out, we want to go out on a Saturday but we don't want to properly dress up. We went to where we didn't have to wait to get in, the bunch was really nice, went up. The drinks are expensive. A Rev Bull, which is just a vodka Rev Bull, it's like 9 or £10. Like what is in that? What is actually in that to make it that much money? Obviously at the time that you don't think about that, you just pay for it and think it's an absolute bargain. So then we went down the stairs, there wasn't too many people there, it was kind of a mix of age in some clubs you go to now. You kind of walk in and you're like, is everyone 25 or is everyone 15? There's not really much of an in between. I just realised that rhyme. We weren't really expecting to have this kind of mad night out. Little did we know, in rave, I don't know if this happens in all raves or it's just a Glasgow one. As soon as it hits midnight, all the staff come out dressed up as these animals. They hand you round flashing headbands and like these massive sick things that light up. Just because it's a Saturday and just because it's hit midnight. If that's not hype, then I don't know what it is. Only been twice, but every time I've come out, it's just been such a good night. I just love how passionate they are about the fact that it's a Saturday. One thing I do not miss though is club photographers. I feel like I learned the hard way that club photographers are not my friend. Because every night on Facebook where summer is open, they'll put these pictures of these, I mean, stunning pictures of all these stunning girls up to kind of promote their club and to try and get people to come. And these pictures aren't ones that are staged. Pictures are just ones that are taken in the club on the night out. And I have no idea how people can look like that. You look at some of them, you just think, 
how? How were you born with those jeans? I don't think I've ever, ever, ever had a good club picture. They come over and I'm now having to duck because I just don't want in the picture. Because every single time they get posted, you forget that they take multiple. You think you're getting one picture, but actually five are posted on Facebook. And I just look awful in every one. I probably spilt something down myself. <coughs> it's just not a good time. And then why please tell me why it's always the first picture or one of the first three pictures that is in the album that is posted on facebook so then it's the ones that everyone can see so now i just stay away on a normal night i would put eyelashes on but i feel like that's taken out a bit too far but i don't want to be stupid about it i wonder what the most played song in a club is i can google it most played song ever in a club what is the best party song of all time maybe that was it Interesting. I feel like this looks probably around like a 4 out of 10, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't think we're gonna get much better than that. My hair, I pretty much always leave just down. Also, <laughs> if I ever curl it, the curls will fall out. If I ever do anything, like put it up, it will probably come out and look a mess. Just the easiest solution to leave it. It didn't actually take me as long as I expected it to, so now we just have to wait until we're ready to go out. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so good. Okay, so obviously this outfit is not going to do, this is not cup appropriate, so I'm going to change. I don't actually have any dresses here though. I'm going to do the closest thing that I have to what I would actually wear in my outfit. So this is my outfit of the night. I have worn this outfit before, probably not to like a proper club, but I mean, we've just got to work with what we've got. We can't be too greedy here. So if we're night out, a lot of people would probably take pictures. I don't usually do that because I take a picture and I hate it. It's not really my normal thing to do, but just for the fun of games of it, we just pretend. <laughs> I'm ready to get this night started, let's go. So now it's time for the beverage. Usually, obviously in clubs, they would have those plastic cups, you know, the black one, small one for a single, and then a more elongated version of that same cup for a double. So I have these cups, I have some ice, I have some Diet Coke, and I have literally the tiniest little drizzle of vodka, but we're gonna obviously not gonna need any more than that. I'm just gonna take one of her cup and take the ice. Now we don't wanna be too heavy handed. Probably just about like that much. We'll just do like. Just a triple with our Diet Coke and kind of top it off. So strong. Right, I'm ready. I've got my outfit. I've got ready. I've got my drink. I'm ready to have a wild time. Let's get dancing. You ready? I said it's MC Tiny. It's MC Tiny with your MCA. Hardcore, hardcore, the hardcore, the DJ. So tired of broken hearts and losing at this game. It's like every day, Tiny met the MCA. Marijuana, what to keep, run the chest and suck. Something that I saw floating around on Twitter yesterday was the amount of people that were calling me a Tory. Run the chest and suck at me. We walk around for heavy hours, very much up. I got the super sexy swing thing that you just can't ignore. You want to hear some metal? You want to hear me roar? Just that day, counting men, go to sleep. Again. It's so high, but it's now three, so the club's closed. So it's time to get changed and get me snack. Not 100% sure what I'm gonna eat. Probably a bagel or something. Something about a carbs, like just really soak up the night. Um, but I'll go downstairs and see what there is. I feel a bit rough. It's so late. I feel like it's kind of like a Steven Sushi moment where he like smacks the wall because the food tastes so nice. Mm. Might go to bed now. I can hope I don't feel too rough. Rough. Billy goes rough. In the morning. But we'll just see just the consequence. Good night. Such a good night. 
I'm obviously not going to take my makeup off because that's not playing the game. I'm too tired to do that. I'm just going to head off to sleep now, but definitely going to do it again next weekend. I feel like it was really successful. I had a great time. Thank you.